गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल वेलकम टू अनाद ब्लॉग तो आज के ब्लॉग में हम लोग डी के क्वेश्चन आंसर सीरीज करेंगे और ये क्वेश्चंस काफ़ी इम्पॉर्टेंट है और ये काफ़ी रिपीटेटिव हो चुके हैं तो जितने भी डी के बंदे हैं जो लोग ट्राई कर रहे हैं डी एग्ज़ाम क्रैक करने के लिए आई नो वो एग्ज़ाम काफ़ी टफ हो चुका है जब से केमिकल के स्ट्रक्चर आ गए हैं उसमें वो पेपर काफ़ी टफ हो चुका है तो उसको क्रैक करने के लिए आपको कुछ भी सेक्शंस कौन सा भी सेक्शंस है मैंने जो 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 सेक्शंस इम्पॉर्टेंट है वो सब एक प्रीवियस वीडियो में बना चुका हूँ आप वो वीडियो प्रीवियस वीडियो देख सकते हैं तो आपको कौन सा भी सेक्शन है वो ऑप्शंस में नहीं छोड़ सकते इवन द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट भी आपको खुद से करना होगा जो जितने भी कैलकुलेशन पार्ट है वो भी आपको थरो करना है और जो जो फार्मूलाज है फार्मूलाज कैसे अप्लाई करना है उनके लिए एक डिटेल वीडियो बनाऊँगा और जो जो मेन मेन फार्मूलाज है वो आपको रिमेम्बर करना है और वो इम्प्लीमेंट कैसे करना है उसके ऊपर एक वीडियो बनाऊंगा तो स्टे टून टाइम नहीं वेस्ट करते हैं क्वेश्चंस पे मूव होते हैं और खुद ट्राई करो क्वेश्चंस आंसर सॉल्व करने के लिए अगर आपने ये डीएचए के लिए प्रिपेयर हो तो आप इस सीरीज में आपको फुल आउट ऑफ कम्प्लीट में से मे बी टेन टेन क्वेश्चन होंगे टेन ऑन टेन आना चाहिए आप ऐसे प्रिपेयर होना चाहिए तो टाइम नहीं वेस्ट करते हैं मूव होते हैं क्वेश्चंस पे सो बेस्ट ऑफ लक अन 18 ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल पेशेंट इज ब्रॉट टू द इमरजेंसी डिपार्टमेंट ड्यू टू ड्रग ओवरडोज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रूट्स ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज द मोस्ट डिजायरेबल फॉर एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग द एंटीडोट फॉर द ड्रग ओवरडोज अ इंट्रामस्कुलर बी सबक्यूटेनियस सी ट्रांसडर्मल डी ओरल ई इंट्रावेनस Correct answer equals E. The intravenous route of administration is the most desirable because it results in achievement of therapeutic plasma levels of the antidote rapidly. An elderly man was brought to the emergency room after he ingested a large quantity of carbidiol tablets, a drug that blocks alpha-1, beta-1, and beta-2 adrenergic receptors. which mainly mediate the cardiovascular effects of epinephrine and norepinephrine in the body which of the following symptoms would you expect in this patient a increased heart rate tachycardia b reduced heart rate bradycardia c dilation of the pupil midriasis d increased blood pressure Correct answer equals B activation of alpha 1 receptors causes midriasis vasoconstriction and an increase in blood pressure activation of beta 1 receptors increases heart rate contractility of the heart and blood pressure antidote of heparin protamine sulfate antidote of paracetamol and acetylcysteine antidote of iron diferoxamine pregnant woman take naproxen and SAID what harm could to baby uncontrolled bleeding a woman with myoclonic seizures is well controlled with lamotrigine she becomes pregnant and begins to have breakthrough seizures what is most likely happening a uh, her epilepsy is getting worse b lamotrigine concentrations are increasing c Lamotrigine concentrations are decreasing. D. Lamotrigine is no longer efficacious for this patient. Correct answer equals C. Pregnancy alters the pharmacokinetics of lamotrigine. As pregnancy progresses, most women require increased dosages to maintain blood. concentrations and seizure control which of the following is the disadvantage of conducting randomized controlled trial a expensive be high possibility of bias c difficult to control confounders d cannot be used for hypothesis testing the answer is a Approximately 415 million people have been 
Diagnosis with diabetes, which of the following terms is referred to in the mentioned statement? A endemic B epidemic C incidence D prevalence. The answer is D. Which of the following medication error is difficult to prevent? Omission error, B wrong time error, C incorrect duration of treatment. D allergic reactions to an unknown patient. The answer is D. Which of the following best describe pharmacy? Health literacy assessment? A measure how well the pharmacy is serving patients with limited health literacy skills. B. Discover gaps in the written information provided to served patients. C. Explore understanding of healthcare information. By the illiterate D assess the level of literacy in the served patients. The answer is a. Which of the following pairs represents the purines? Nitrogenous bases? A adenina and uracil U. B cytosine C and uracil U C adenina and guanine G, D, cytosine C, and guanine G. The answer is C. Which of the following strategies are used with older adult patients to encourage them to change their behavior? A use teach back more often throughout the session. B. Introduce new concepts more slowly. C. Use briefer educational sessions. D. Use more visual aids. The answer is a. Which of the following is required to consider? An adverse drug event report a valid report. A drug dose be patients to all see event name. D. Reporter's phone. The answer is C. Which of the following is the major risk? Associated with the use of over-the-counter drugs will increase cost without benefit. B. Decreased drug-drug interactions. C. Increased potential for misuse and abuse. D. Increased risk of adverse events. Decreased drug-drug interactions. C. Increased potential for misuse and abuse. D. Increased risk of adverse events. The answer is D. Which of the following inhibits gluconeogenesis A insulin? B. Glucagon C. Epinephrine D. Glucocorticoids The answer is D. Which of following prescriptions may have a potential to cause medication error? I am lodipine 5.0 mg po ODB thyroxin 25 mcgpo daily. C acetaminophen 500 mg po TID D regular insulin 5 units subcutaneously stat. The answer is a. Which of the following terms describes living microbe with reduced virulence and used for vaccination, a virulent B dormant, C attenuated D encapsulated?
The answer is C. Thanks for watching. Best of luck for the DHA examine. We hope this will benefits you. Like, share this videos to all DHA examine.